Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a lowdown on my day today. So today I went to Canary Wharf and I went to Citibank specifically, massive skyscraper in Canary Wharf and I went for an event called Standing Out in Competitive Industries and um, this was hosted by, like planned by Future, Future inspiring futures and future learn I don't know I can't remember what it's called I'll find out for you wait a second <laughs> inspiring futures so yeah the event was hosted by inspiring futures and um, it was kind of more stem related so to apply you had to be in sixth form and you had to be taking like two stem subjects so obviously I do sciences and I do maths so I could apply and it was kind of competitive um, I think they had 60 places but like hundreds of applicants from around the UK. So yeah, I was very grateful to get on and I'm gonna give you a bit of a lowdown about what we did, the kind of sessions that we um, went on and what I learned. Okay, so at first was just the introduction. It's kind of meeting everyone. We had to get there 15 minutes early and I came out of Canary Wharf train station and I could not find it. I was relying on Google Maps and I don't know if it was the high rise buildings around me or whatever, but Google Maps was glitching and it kept just like placing me in the middle of some random green patch and it would tell me to go right and then like two seconds later it would all like spaz and glitch and stuff. So I was on my own and on the way to the building I asked four people, even though it was like two minutes away, I asked four people where it was and they just pointed up at like the massive building over there. Hey guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jane. So I've just arrived in Canary Wharf and I've got a standing out in competitive industries day at Citibank. So I'm attempting to find Citibank right now. There's a lot of high rise buildings around me and I kind of have five minutes to get there. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for the day. I'm going to attempt to vlog it. So I managed to find it in the end and I managed to get there at like 14 minutes to or something, so you know, I was pretty on time. They took us up the lift, up this massive building, and I think one of the things I enjoy about events like this so much is like getting to speak to people my age. Um, yeah, I really enjoy the sort of like networking and socializing with people from around the UK who I know I kind of wouldn't have met otherwise. So yeah, for the first like 20 minutes, that is what we did. We got taken to this really pretty room and we just chatted with people and like got to know other people, where they were from, what they were interested in, that kind of thing. Hi, I'm Chloe. Um, we're here for the Standing Out Competitive Industries Day. Um, yeah, it's a day to vlog. Yes. Hi, I'm Lev. Uh, I'm here too. Um, <laughs> I, just in case, I'm, I'm not After Effects. Uh, I'm doing computer science at a uh, university. Yeah. That's cool. I'm not. I'm looking to do an apprenticeship in aerospace engineering. I'm boring like that, so I'm going to any marks response. Hi, YouTube. I'm Sam. <laughs> <laughs> You're loving it. <laughs> uh, I want to do a physics degree um, and I have no pets. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Matthew and I'm looking to do dentistry at university. I have two fish for the lounge already, so it's all set. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Anya. I'm looking to do a degree in like economics or something like that. And yeah, I'm here too. Yeah. Oh, well, guess what, right? This is embarrassing. But we went to put our bags down and I took off my coat to swap it out for my blazer and the girl I was with, shout out to Anya, you were lovely Anya, <laughs> she was like, I think your dress is undone. And I was like, oh wait, really? What? And basically, the zip on the back of this dress was just like halfway down, like halfway done down my back. I don't know what I did. But I think I forgot to like ask my mum to zip it up. So. I had just gone into Canary Wharf with like half my outfit on effectively. I'm pretty sure like you could just see my bra and stuff. So thank God she zipped it up before I went in and was interviewed or whatever. So the first talk was called What a Global Business Looks Like. And I don't know if you know, but I'm quite interested in business. My dad is uh, in sales and yeah, like it's quite, and it's an area that I'm definitely interested in going into. So the talk was from the head of sales at Citibank and it was more like banking focused and more economics focused. And I didn't do economics. So a bit of the jargon sort of went over my head, but you know, I was really like doing my best to focus and to 
like glean as much from it as I could. They also like went through like a typical day at Citibank and those sorts of things and how he like got into his role. So he was saying that he starts at like 6.30 a.m. like comes to work and the first thing that he does isn't even necessarily like the job itself. What he and the other people in his team have to do is just check the news and check like things that are going on like politically and in the world and because he's in strategy kind of like predict how those things would have an effect on the industry and um, his clients and respond to certain clients about world events and predict the events of tomorrow and he was saying that that is something like quite key in global businesses and especially in banking is like responding to that change. A good thing about the day was um, a lot of Q&A sessions so like straight after that talk for about half an hour all of us could just ask questions and that sort of thing um, and I think that's really useful because we could kind of take the talk in the direction that we wanted to. We then got to speak to representatives from Shell, Jaguar and Land Rover and Sky, like recent graduates who were like working with the company now. Um, and again, it was just really insightful to kind of see um, see like different like graduate schemes available and get their experience working for those companies, uh, what they've learned, those, those kind of things. I mean, I know that I don't want to be an engineer and I know that I probably don't want to go into banking, but a lot of like what I was learning was quite like transferable. Then we had a how to network session, which I found probably like the, the most interesting thing of the day. So it was like a talk on like the best way to network with people and to get the most out of it and like things you should do, things you shouldn't. So for example, don't take photos of people's badges um, in a networking session just so that you can quote their name later on. <laughs> um, what else? Also being aware of like the people who um, are in the group like while you're networking. So say you're speaking to this one representative from a company and you're kind of in a group of like five people speaking to this representative, just kind of um, like unspoken etiquette of uh, being aware of when other people have spoken and who hasn't spoken yet and who still has questions and not just taking the conversation purely in your direction but still having the confidence to ask your questions and get out of it what you want, things like that. And then following the networking session we had a networking lunch. So it was like an hour lunch or something in the pretty room again. I mean I didn't vlog any of this, I apologise. Um, yeah and it was like we had lunch and we had awkwardly had to have our plate and everything and at the same time there were professional business people in the room who you could just go and like chat to and network while awkwardly trying to eat your stuff at the same time um, and I was very impressed because they actually had good vegan food and they had vegan cake and salads and stuff like that and fruit and then after lunch we had a CV boot camp like about what to put in a CV, how to stand out, all those sorts of things and we did all have to send in a CV to them. Then we also had like recruitment sessions and like what recruiters look for and like the recruitment process for most like big businesses. Um, so yeah, just like really like interesting stuff that I don't know, it just got me thinking about like my career and also just like my personal brand and selling myself as a person in like competitive job industries and stuff like that. Especially like coming out of uni, like how I'm gonna find a job um, and what I want to be doing. Like it was very insightful in those respects. Then there was like a final Q&A, all the questions answered, that kind of thing. Um, and then we got goodie bags, which, you know, is always the highlight of the day. Um, and there's also like in the goodie bag, there were things of like different events which are being run soon as well. So I would definitely recommend to you, you go on, I think it is, oh, I keep forgetting, Inspiring Futures. Go on Inspiring Futures, the website, because they offer different events for teenagers. Um, normally in sick form, but I know that a lot of them are also 15 to 18. Most of the ones on there are paid. I mean, the one I went to today was free. Um, but yeah, if you see something that you're like, that would look good on my CV, that would look good on my personal statement, like that shows passion, or that would help me realise the industry I want to go into, or that's just interesting. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend that you check it out, and I wish I had found the website earlier. But yeah, I guess that's today's vlogmas done. Um, also, do you like my um, businessy outfit? Look at this. Are you ready? So I've got the, the like smart dress and I've got like a little vest top so that it's not too cheeky, you know what I mean? 
I have tights and stuff and I have my coat, I have my blazer because the dress coat was professional and all the boys were just like in suits and stuff. So I felt like, bam, Jade, you're in Canary Wharf right now. You're in a skyscraper, look at all those investment bankers and stuff and you're just dressed amazingly. Um, so yeah, I definitely felt like it was, um, it was a good day and I learned a lot. I literally, I'm just one of these people, I absolutely love just gaining experience and seizing opportunities like this. I mean, I don't know what I wanna do when I'm older and I'm only gonna find that out by doing things like this. Like, I confirmed to myself that banking and being an accountant is not something that I personally would find satisfying as a job. I think it's very interesting, but equally I just don't think it's for me. But yeah, maybe it is for you, who knows. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely rest of the day. See you tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just going home now. My name's Shahrazad, She watched my She watched my video. <laughs> so this is Chloe. I met her today. And I basically met her in the morning, but she didn't even tell me that she knew who I was. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did you enjoy the day? I was really good. Yeah, it was really interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, I did. Did oh, you enjoy the day? My name's and I'm the coolest guy on the train. <laughs> and we just came from the city bank. You had to look up what it was. Yeah, I had to look that up. Did you enjoy it? Oh, yeah, it was real fun, yeah. I want to be an astrophysicist. Astrophysicist. Is there any ladies lined up for astrophysicists? There you go. Hit you up, yeah. This Number in the description. <laughs> So I'm currently just on the train home and I guess I'll do a bit of a lowdown when I'm home but overall yeah it was a good day.